Hello everyone, my name's Leopold and welcome back to Uncharted 2. Now, before we get into this episode, like too into it, I'm gonna just say I'm sorry for the abrupt ending of the previous part. Um uh what happened was because it hit the hour mark um while I was recording it, it just stopped in the middle of a scene. And, uh, yeah, that sucks. But, uh, I actually decided, I hope you all appreciate this. Everybody who's going to watch this video, I hope you all appreciate this. I decided, even though I made it to Chapter 3, I'm going to go back, replay through all of Chapter 2, get back to this point, because this is where the story kind of gets a little, uh, well, you get, starts to shake things up. Now, Ladies last first. time... <laughs> Cute. <laughs> yeah, I already seen this, so um, kind of cheating when I say first impressions. But still, so I've already oh, played through this. Yeah, there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off. We so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. <laughs> oh, boy. That's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? And... You see that? Ooh. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Oh, Wait, boy. Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Ah, oh, damn. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flint, listen. Face it, genius. You've been playing. Ah, snap. Uh -uh, not yet. Want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? All right, so obviously this isn't my first, um, obviously this isn't my first impressions because, uh, I have played through this already. Crap. Um, but I love these first two chapters because, um, things are just getting more and more 
interesting. They just keep like elevating. I can't wait to see where this goes. Oh snap. Like I already know what happens here. Yeah, there it is. So we try and escape. Back through the sewers. Alright, one thing I didn't uh, talk about that I wanted to talk about in the last video is that um, Jeremy Renner, you know the guy that plays Hawkeye in the Avengers? He looks just like Nathan Drake. I made a post about it on Google Plus like yesterday. Or the day that I'm recording this, but oh crap. <laughs> you overlooked one little detail, didn't you, Parva? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. <laughs> oh really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. <laughs> Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, nope. Man, I'm glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. A good chunk of my own, but hey. Ah. Jesus, you stink. <laughs> Not half as bad as that cigar. <laughs> How'd you find me? Well, uh, a friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. <laughs> Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Gross. <laughs> Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. <laughs> no, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Bazarovich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We are going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh. That's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarovich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarovich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh, okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. <laughs> you give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. <laughs> Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. <laughs> Chloe. All right. You're reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <laughs> A 
Borneo. I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Alright, so back to first impressions because I haven't played any of this chapter yet. She said it's right ahead of us. I, I don't see it anywhere. I guess we got to get going straight. Murky ass water. But anyways, like I gotta say, oh, there it is. I also left the detonator for you. Uh -huh. There we go. All right. First one set. Don't touch the button. This one. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying. The charges, just hit the detonator and it's showtime. All right, thanks. They'll never know what hit him. All right, if you could shut just up now, so I could. Zarovich has got his men posted all around the perimeter. Okay. Now, if you all are done, um, I was going to commentate and say how much it looks. How much um, Jeremy Renner, who has, I believe he's been in Mission Impossible movies and he uh, plays Hawkeye in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, he looks just like Nathan Drake. Keep an eye out for patrols. Like, literally, almost one to one, just like Nathan Drake. I'm sweating like a hooker in church. <laughs> you brought a hooker to church? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and how I feel like um, for the Uncharted movie that they are making, he will be a perfect fit. Um, that's obviously. Careful. Up ahead. Don't let them spot you. Let's take these guys out quietly. I think I saw something. I said quiet, mate. That's the other end of loud. Damn. Um, like I said, that's not the route they're going with the movie, because, um, they're actually going to have, uh, Tom Holland, you know, the guy who plays Spider-Man now, um, he's going to be the one that, uh, plays Nathan Drake in the movie, because it's going to be following a young Nathan Drake, because apparently there was a part of the third game, which we haven't gotten to yet, where, uh, Drake is a kid. Okay, I feel like the coast is clear. I'm probably wrong. I knew I was wrong. I don't know how I was supposed to do it quietly. Anyways. Where's Sully at? That punk ass bitch, he's still hiding back there. Oh crap. I don't think I have any grenades. Great. Okay. Watch out! Ooh, I wonder who threw that. Definitely wasn't me. Shoot him in the dick. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh my goodness, how much ammo can this hold? Looks like we can swing across there. <laughs> Maybe you can. Alright, hold on, Grandpa. See if I can find another way up. <laughs> I think I already did um, talk about how Tom Holland is going to be Nathan Drake in the movie. And I'm really excited for him because, um, you know, that that kid's going places. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, 
I just have to wonder how the movie's gonna go. Cause you know, I just now got into Uncharted. And you know, other people might be a little skeptical. Um, personally, I think that um, Uncharted has potential to make good movies. Um, some people might criticize them for being like Indiana Jones, but that's kind of what the games are like, so. I don't see any reason to really get on them whenever that's obviously the inspiration. Come on, push. There we go. Jesus. You could have killed him, but... <laughs> Let's keep going. This way. Nate, you should be approaching excavation site one by now. Oh crap. Oh snap! <laughs> Just punched him right in the face. That's funny. Okay. Ooh. Alright, uh, I don't have much to say because I'm just really interested in the story and, uh, and what's going on. this time I'm gonna to want to go with a stealthy approach I think I've heard like criticism for the stealth mechanics in this game but honestly I kind of like it I mean like I said in the last video it's kind of like playing a Batman Arkham game and I love those games I just feel like um, those games had it as more of a core element than this game probably does this game, it's probably like an afterthought, which is why some people don't really care much for it. But I think it adds a new element of strategy. Oh, shoot. Oh, fuck. Okay. The color is back. Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> All right, so let's try that one more time, shall we? Try and be more stealthy this time. Oh shit. Speaking of the Arkham games, let me know if you guys want to see me play some of those games, um, like leading up to Spider-Man PS4, because I can't wait for that game too. Like I actually. I'm so hyped for that game. Um, I really can't wait for E3 because of that game. I think um, that game is what I'm looking forward to most, along with a couple Stop of others. Right Headshot. Nice. Oh, shoot. All right, that guy's down. Okay. 
Ah, crap. Oh. <laughs> Once again, I'm sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm just trying to focus. Ooh. Like, Jesus, man. That's a low blow right there. That ain't even cool. Dang it. I went for the headshot and I missed. Damn. Damn, nice. Alright. Mm hmm. Alright, <laughs> that was weird. I was just like running in place. like trying to be patient here I'm not trying to bum rush it because I don't want to get spotted oh hell no let's start up high I thought Link was infamous with the pot. Oh wow, the CPU did it all for me. Okay. That is not what I wanted to do. Yikes. Hell yeah I am. Oh shit, where is that coming from? Oh, snap. Clear out. Oh shoot. Ooh. Why didn't I do that before? <laughs> Oh shoot. He's done. That's a good question. Now what? I don't know. Now what? Uh. Oh shoot. Oh snap. What is this? Oh, okay. Uh, now we have to find explosives. Oh, there's one. 
still got to arm three of the charges. I'm guessing they're all in this general area, but I don't know for sure. But, um, since I am out of things to talk about, and I mentioned it earlier, um, let me know in the comments what game you're looking forward to the most for E3. Um, for me, I'm definitely looking forward to Spider-Man, uh, above all. Because I love me some Spider-Man. I've loved Spider-Man since I was a kid. Um, uh, watching the really old hey, movies. Still got to arm the explosives, remember? Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. Yep, they are all in this vicinity. Okay. Um, but I've loved Spider-Man ever since I watched, um, the original trilogy as a kid. Um, I was really too young to watch them because they were PG-13 movies. Um... And I don't really have any fond memories with any of them. All right, one more. We're out. I still have a toy of Spider-Man 2. Um, which is missing an arm, but okay, recently found... Alright. Um, but recently, while my uncle was uh, cleaning out my grandparents' house, he found it. And I still like it. It's fun. I don't think that I can really play with it anymore, but... Um, yeah. In terms of Spider-Man games, I haven't really, uh, ever really played... Uh... Can't reach us. Come on over here, I'll give you a boost. Haven't really played any Spider-Man games except on, for... The 3DS version of the ass, first... Sully. <laughs> what the? There you go, kid. Game motherfucker. Right. Um, but um, what was I saying? <laughs> you got a great ass, Sully. Just that just distracted me beyond belief. Um, what was I saying? Um, I hate you, Nathan, because I can't Must think. Some tsunami to watch these ships so far inland. Like, I can't think of what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. Um. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. I've only played one Spider-Man game, and that was the 3DS version of The Amazing Spider-Man, the movie game. And, uh, you know, I actually really liked that movie back when it first came out. Not much anymore, because I've seen better ones, like Spider-Man Homecoming... Excuse me, um, I've acknowledged that the that the original trilogy is still better than uh, Than at least uh, the amazing movies are um, But anyways the Amazing spider-man is basically just a Batman Arkham clone which I'm hoping this new game isn't and uh, I really have faith in Insomniac for it because I played their Ratchet and Clank game on PS4 and I loved that game. That was really fun. I might actually replay that game really soon. I don't know. Um, what are we trying to do here? Do we want to hop in this? No. Oh. Or isn't that where we just came from? No, we want to go this way, but yeah, that's it. Get down. The pump is down again. Uh, the damn thing is always breaking down. Come on, let's just fix it so we can get out of here. Look, they're not armed. Not that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe. Oh, snap. There's someone here. Yo. Ooh. Oh, snap. Could have used some help down here. 
Yeah, you were doing fine. <laughs> hey. There's another one for you. Oh, great. Hey. Not bad. Enough of this frivolity, kid. Come on, we got work to do. What does frivolity mean? <laughs> Using big words. <laughs> well, because we follow the hose, we find the can. You always follow the hose. <laughs> Just like in Montreal, huh? Oh my god. You're never gonna forget that. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I love the banter between these two. But anyways, let's continue on. Chapter 4. Oh, that wasn't a very long chapter. The dig. I think I see the camp up ahead. And you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. All right. So I don't know if you'll notice it on the recording, but my but my controller just randomly disconnected. You would betray me for this? No, no, Zora. I can't explain. No, no need, no need. <laughs> Oh, snap. I love how the subtitle. I love how the subtitle, subtitle just said, that's terrible. Do it. Ooh. Run out! Search the perimeter! Go. Oh, boy. It's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Alright, for starters, I'm gonna need a gun. Stealth time. It's showtime. Jesus, man. You're going for those low blows. Sweet. Okay. Nice. Oh crap. Not nice. Not nice. <laughs> ah, I love that. That's funny. Pushing through. See where this uh see where this takes us. So I think we're supposed to go up in here. Yeah. Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got the files in every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the sixteen hundreds. Damn. They are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. That's supposed to mean something? It's me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. Hmm. Must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. 
Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo was he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. Oh boy. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Oh, crap. Right up. Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Wait. Well, that's convenient. Oh? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> devil dynamite. Coming at you. Dang. Stop right there. Have some of this. Jesus. I love this. Oh boy. That's not what I love. Oh snap. I thought he said he had me covered. I feel cheated. Oh boy. There's no more grenades. Head down. Head out. What the? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Snap. Whoa. This one count. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs>
Oh, okay. They're closing in on me. Eat some of that. All right, let me see if I can back up Sully real quick. <laughs> Please don't make me start all of that over. Snap. Tower, where? Oh. I got you, Sully. Trash. Damn. I kind of figured I was done for. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, I was doing so well for like the longest. I'm trying, but my aim is trash. Like I keep on missing.
What the shit? Oh my lord, man. Ugh. my lord what am I supposed to do like it said to throw it into the tower but I don't know how to approach I'm trying yo cool all right maybe that'll work I hope yes fuck you Finally, oh my lord. Should be this way. <sighs> lord almighty. Giving me some vibes from the first game. Going through the jungle. Near the beginning. Back to what I was saying before we got into all that and I had to focus. Um, let me know what game you guys are excited to see at E3. I'm excited for Mario Tennis Aces, the new Sonic Racing game. Um, Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Probably some other stuff. Hey. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. We made it to the high ground? Wow, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. I mean, it's obviously the high ground. What else do you have to know about it? It's the high ground. Down this way. Like... Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ooh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. Look at their teeth. They're all black. I can't even see them. They must have taken refuge here during the tsunami. Ah, oh, you can't even, like, zoom in. They said their teeth are all black. There's gotta be some sort of clue around here. Slow walking. That means that some story shit's about to happen. Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they were shipwrecked. More resin. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Looking like some Zelda type shit with the blue fire in the ice cavern. This is blood. It's everywhere. Looks like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. We'll see if they lead somewhere. Oh, snap. All right, this kind of reminds me of detective mode in the Arkham games. I mean, I guess this kind of makes sense because this came out in 2009 apparently, and that's when the Arkham games came out or started. Uh, so yeah, um, I actually set a timer for like 45 minutes so I don't go over 
So after this segment, I'm probably going to cut the part. Just saying. Uh, but I don't want to leave you guys and then find out what this is on my own. Because that's not cool. Provided I can. Um, I'm still trying to follow the trail. Oh, okay, this way. This is fucking weird. This is really weird. Seems to end at this wall. Yeah, that's odd. <laughs> this moves a little. Sully, help me out. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> See, now this should this like rep this to me looks like a black light, and the blood is the um the you know what, you know I'm not even gonna dance around it. It's the semen, and uh, the blue fire is just the black light. <laughs> Trail leads in here. More bodies. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm Maybe sorry, I'm dirty crazy, minded. But it looks like they all killed each other. Just get I'm getting a little spooked. You know those spooky, scary skeletons? Send shivers up your spine? Look at this. What do we have here? Kidding. <laughs> Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. <laughs> oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? Hmm. What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a perba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. You mean a perba? Destroy obstacles. Like a uh, Furby? <laughs> you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hmm. Well, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah. Except it's not just a field of temples anymore. It's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on. There's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Mm. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to get out of here, and then we're going to uh, end the part. Hopefully it doesn't cut me again. I mean, not like that. I don't. I mean, like, like cut the part. Oh. I'm gonna go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Give me a hand, Nate. Come on. Harry! In here! It's Drake! Aww. What the hell are- Get your hands up. You should know how to pick them. <laughs> Shut up, Sonny. <laughs> should have known it was you. <laughs> and you. Victor. Goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, mate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. <laughs> and the ships, though, didn't I? Couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. 
Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet, one temple will reveal a pathway to Shambhala. <laughs> Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. <laughs> oh, no. Don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. All right, I may love women with accents, but you never trust that hoe. <laughs> Ever. Come on, keep moving. Unless she's gonna pull some. Ooh. Oh shit. Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm gonna try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Oh snap. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> I do too. But anyways, that's it for this part. Don't let him get oh snap. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Uh, so, things are getting interesting. Um, I like where this is going. Uh, but to go ahead and cut things. Um, this has been Leopold. I hope you all enjoyed this video and the previous one. I'm really liking this intro so far. It's all like a, a flashback. And I'm really curious to know what got us to the point that's in the actual intro. But um, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Um, this has been Leopold. This part should be going up tomorrow at some point. I'm recording this Sunday night, uh, Monday morning. I'm out of school, so... I don't really have to worry about anything like bedtimes or anything, even though I have to get up early in the morning because I'm going to get stuff from my car and probably some other stuff. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. Once again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if so. And I'll see you guys next time with more Uncharted 4, maybe some Smash Bros. Talking about Smash Bros, I don't know yet. We'll see.